high power testers. Uh, Hardware sanity test is a quick test that you can do yourself in the office or in the field. This type of test will give you a quick go-no-go -go information about the basic operation of your system. Whenever in doubt, do a sanity test to regain confidence in your system. Now let's do a sanity test for the ultrasonic channel. The first thing to do is a visual check of the transducer. I'm examining the transducers for any external damage and looking at the cable to make sure it's intact. And I also scan the connector side for any damages. Now let's connect the chum to the PC and we also connect the transmitter and the receiver to the chum box. The depth cable may optionally be connected or not connected at this stage, doesn't matter. Now that we have the transducer connector, let's hang them from the edge of the table like that or place them like that at a distance of 34 centimeters. When in the field, you can just eyeball it at about this a foot distance. Now let's start the chum software and select tools, data source, and USB chum play. I'm going to enlarge the scope window for better visibility here. Yeah. Okay, now let's look at the scope window and we'll look at the following points. The first arrival time, FAT, should be approximately 1000 microseconds. That's because uh, Wave speed in air is about 30, 340 meters per second, so 34 centimeters should give us a thousandth of that, one of uh, one millisecond. Uh, plus minus 50 should be just fine for this sanity test where we don't measure very accurately. The energy should be about 10 to 20 millivolts, and the signal before the FAT should be as clean as possible. While we look at the scope, we will gently bend and twist the connectors on the transducers on both sides and the signal should remain intact. This will make us make sure that there are no loose connectors and uh, connection anyway. Uh, some noise will be present when we will touch and move the receiver channel, that's expected. Now we will swap the receiver and transmitter. We don't have to stop the test for that, just swap and we should get exactly the same picture. Okay, now we can conclude that the transducers are in great shape. If we find a problem, swapping the transducers and cross-checking with the third one might be a good idea. And all of these will help you pinpoint the trouble. Additional videos that you might consider watching are sanity test of the depth channel, sanity test of the main box, and doing depth calibration. Thanks for watching and happy testing!